Hello, in this video I'll be demonstrating on how to use your laser machine to do stippling on any type of gun grip. Pretty easy process, just a little tedious. First you just take a picture of your designated part. Once you do that, make sure it does have a white background when you take the picture. So when you edit it on Photoshop and try to get the, the outline for it, it makes your life a lot easier. So first you just put a levels adjustment on it, make sure every, all the colors are correct. And then use your magic erase tool to delete the the original background to place your white, your pure white um, background. Once you've edited your picture on Photoshop, then import it into Illustrator. So once you have it into Illustrator, you want to just image trace the, the image that you just imported. So then you can get your grip outline. And make sure you touch it up a little bit, play with the thresholds and corners and your paths. Once you've got your desired outline for your gun grip, now what you can do is offset the path to make sure you have the area of workspace where you want to mark it. Because you don't want to mark all over the gun grip where it's just not going to look good. So make sure you offset the path twice. This The first one is just a little uh, reference point. But this, the third one right here is your actual area of where you, your artwork is going to mark. So you could play around with this and shape it to how you want your artwork to look on the grip. Make it look longer, make it look shorter, doesn't matter. Now duplicate the layer that you just made and take the other two outline reference points and lock them and hide them. And then take that your duplicated outline of where you want your thing to mark and take that, select the two, minus back, and you should have a clean piece of artwork ready to mark into your laser software. So if you want to make a pattern, all you have to do is just take a vectored image that you have and use the trans transfer effect tool. And once you do that, you just place it however you want, horizontally and vertically. And once you do that, you can just merge it into your your outline like you like I showed in the last step. As soon as you're done creating your artwork for your your part, save it as a DXF or CX6 file. Now open up your laser software program. And then once you do that, Grab your artwork that you just made, import it in, and then once you import it in, uh, turn off your view for your artwork and just have the duplicated outline that you made. And once you have that, you want to do a full path preview so you can see the area of where it's going to mark before it actually marks. So you can adjust and do whatever you need to do to um, prep it. And then once you're here, just put in dial in your settings and you're ready to go. I did choose 800 speed with 100 power and 20 frequency and I'm using a 20 watt machine. More or less I recommend you play around with those settings if you do have a higher power laser. If you have a laser within that range, just use those settings. You'll be you'll be set. Also, I recommend going with slower speeds such as 800 to 1000 just so you get a higher quality of mark. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps.